fight. It's a fight to the bitter end. And I will never relent. I will never, ever quit. I have been and I will always be my own man. My own man. I didn't need my father's hand to hold and I don't need anyone's hand to hold today. I can make it on my own. On my own. I am a self-made man and nothing will take away my independence today. I'll fight you. I'll fight God. I will fight Rome. I will fight any man. I am not afraid. I may lose, but I have lost before, and I can take my licks as long as I can stand my ground and maintain control and not give in. I will win. I will win. I will win. Hey, you up there, if you're the king of the Jews, why don't you come down here and save yourself? Do you not even fear God since we're receiving the same sentence of condemnation? We indeed justly, for we're getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man, this man has done nothing wrong. The battle that wages within me is far greater than the physical battle I fight as I gasp for my last breath. How can I even look to the one who calls himself the God of love, the God of peace, the God of my salvation? I have never known love. I've never known my own father. All my life I've sought my father's blessing, but I have never found it. My anger over his abandonment and my bitterness over his abuse has led me into the darkest of valleys and the deepest of sins when I've tried to do right I have failed oh how I have failed my spirit has been willing but my flesh has been weak wretched man that I am who will set me free from the body of this death I have tried to do right and I have failed. Now I fight to lift up my head and look to the only one who could possibly save a living failure like me. Jesus, could you, would you, Jesus, could you remember me when you come into your kingdom? Could you? Yes, yes, I heard you. I will remember. I came into this world to pay a debt that you yourself could never pay, to die for you. Yes, I will remember. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you for I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. If you would have if you would have known me, 
you would have known my father also. From now on, you know him and have seen him. In his sovereignty, my father planted this tree. He watered this tree. He nurtured this tree. And now he turns this tree into a sacrificial altar for his son to die on for you in his passion in his amazing love he did it for you and for all others who would believe because I will ask the father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever that is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it does not behold him or know him but you know him because he abides with you and he will be in you I will not leave you as orphans I will come to you greater love has no man than this than to lay down his life for his friends and you are my friends you are my friends if you do what I command you I do not call you slaves, for a slave does not know what his master is doing, but I call you friends, because everything I've heard from my Father, I have made known to you. He who hates me hates my Father also, but they have done this in order that the word may be fulfilled, which is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. Father, Father, glorify now thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee, that to whom all thou hast given him, he may give eternal life. And this is eternal life, that they may know thee, the only true God and your Son, whom thou hast sent. Yes. I will remember you. <laughs> truly, truly, I say to you, today, today you shall be with me in paradise. You're my son now. Father, you're patient and slow to anger, not wanting any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Father, forgive these men, for they know not what they do. Pierce for their transgressions, crush for their iniquities. The chastening of their well-being has fallen upon me, and by these scourgings they are healed. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Where, where are you, Dad? Where's my father? Into thy hands I commit my spirit. It is finished!